afternoon you feisty lot welcome back to another wonderful day in fact look at that sun's out sunglasses on squinting what am i doing i'm trying to peel off some crusty masking tape that's useful what are you doing today ross well tighter kind of gives it away really i think i'm finally going to sort out this anti-roll bar i want to take this car for a bit of a, a proper test drive i can't do it but i can't why do you need masking tape? That's a good question. So I'm doing this first. That back panel, you know, there. I'm not doing the bit where the number plate goes, but I'm doing all around that. Can't, that's the intention anyway. So um, yeah, I'm just masking it, sticking it in place, and then I can start to uh, massage it with the glove. This is gonna go terribly wrong, but I'll give it a crack anyway, let's see. I need to crack on with this anti-roll bar, so this should hopefully only take me 10 minutes. It's not going to take me 10 minutes, you twat. Didn't take me 10 minutes, did it, Ross? You did a shit job, didn't you, Ross? That's really hard. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's, really, it's really difficult. I really struggle with uh, wrapping stuff. It's on, though, isn't it? And I'm torn as whether I like it. Either way, it adds a bit of extra... From that angle, it's much better. I think it just needed it. It needed something on the back to tie the uh, the bottom oranges together. So I think from that angle, she got back. Yeah, I like that. Cha-ching! Right, now on to the thing I've been putting off. She's in a natural habitat, up in the air. All right, so she's up in the air on um, axle stands. You see? <sighs> now, let's assess how I can do this. Uh, this is why I didn't want to do that. Um, yeah, I'm no further forward right now. It's a colossal pain in the ass. So uh, there's, no, there's no way of me getting in there without really dropping the subframe. The tutorial I watched online was for an earlier model i believe it was for a 107 anyway but whatever the same thing um and you could get access to the bolts i can't get access to those bolts like at all uh so that's painful so I'm, without a lift and being able to do it that way it's going to be a pain in the ass so i might concede to cop out and drop it next door to the garage and get them do that but what i am going to do right now is this first thing obviously you've got to put that back down together and drop it next door to get them to do this but i'm stripping out the seats in the back lightweight that's that all out if you're wondering 12 is that right yeah 12 mil on the outside 12 mil on the inside but you've also got some 14s to take those off i've put all the hardware back in so i don't lose it because i will I reckon that saved me some good weight. I mean, I'm, I could still save myself some weight, couldn't I, really? But I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do it than take the entire lot out like I did. But, you know, fuck it. I'm done now. Off to the garage we go. We're all dropped down. You can't see the full extent of the height because the handbrake just dropped. I don't think it'll make much difference, to be honest. But let's get let's jump started. Maybe I need to order a new battery. Would that be a good idea? I think that would be a good idea, Ross. But the size of it is tiny. I bet it's about a tenner. It won't be. Nothing's ever a tenner. I'm going to get one though. I might order one today because clearly it needs it. But let's hope that these guys are open. And this is a fucking well useful though. If you haven't got one, get one. I've never been a big fan of Sealy tools because they always break in my experience but that seems to work so i like it he says uh my battery charge is dead fuck my life just tried bump starting it on this hill in reverse i pushed it as far up as i could get and then tried to use that momentum so no it didn't work funnily enough 
and I tried to do it down here, it broke, didn't work. I'm just impatient and I need to get it done now. I need to take it, take it so it's in there and it's out my way, but I can't. So what I'm gonna do is piss off upstairs, wait for this to charge. Charge. And I'll come back. I was just trying to fit it into my lunch hour. It's impossible to do these things. So I'll come back, get my keys. Ah. So I will come back when this is charged and I've finished my meetings and I'll take it next door. Don't be disappointed in me. I normally do everything. It was just, I just can't, I just can't do it with the tools and everything that I've got without, well I could, I, wait well, it's dark. I mean, technically I could, but all right, off we go. Let's take this. I can't put it in gear, that might help. Let's take this to the garage next door and see if uh, we can get it sorted. I mean, that sounds good, right? She can stay next to Terry for a bit until tomorrow. It said if I can drop the car back off tomorrow, they can't use the parts that I've got because they can't trust them. Fair enough, I, they've got to be held accountable for um, what's fitted to it basically and they can't give a guarantee if um, they don't know where it's come from. I think a kit in general is only about 20, 25 quid. I'm sure they'll make a bit of money on that. But, uh, We'll see what they say. I'll drop the car back off tomorrow. Now I've got to pop to the shop, so I'll see you when I've done that. And we are back. I have no idea how long it's been for you guys. Well, not for you guys, it's not been no time, any time. You haven't seen anything. But for me, I've not. I've got no idea whether it's been two days, three weeks. It's been a while. Celine has been in the garage. I got her back this morning and took her for a test drive. And so I'll show you where. She's just here, just here. There she is, look at her. Sitting there pretty. Well, the problem with that, I took it for a test drive. Steering great, obviously, uh, was doing well um, from all the things that are the R bush thing that it went in for. Bargain as well, 80 euros for all that changed. I should have just put it in there to start with. I don't mind doing a lot of the work, but for 80 euros to do that, save me that. Well worth it. Thanks, Garage Deal Bear. Um, but there were issues, so. I took it round the block and it's doing this. It's all the lights are flashing. It's, it's like a Christmas tree, it's going mental. So I looked it up online, obviously Google it if you don't know what's going on. And it said it needs a new battery. The battery is completely dead. I knew this anyway. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is go to the garage, get a new battery, fit a new battery, and then give it a proper test. Or try anyway. You can come along. Not to get the battery, you don't give a shit about that. You can come along for the test drive. So anyway, let's go get a battery. Car battery, got. Let's go fit this bad boy. I've got a feeling it looks very cloudy and very rain-like. Um, so I'm gonna have to chase the weather and try and get it done before I get absolutely hoofed on, which, oh my fucking days, have you seen that? Doesn't look as bad on camera, I don't think. That looks miserable and it looks like it's coming this way. All right, so I'm gonna quickly try and fit this battery and see if it cures all the issues. And if it doesn't, you'll soon see what those issues are. Let's have a go. After I've taken Philly her buscots, cheesecake buscots. Good old uh, Terry there, needs a bit of a clean. Fuck it. All right, now let's go and get this bad boy. Look at that. Da -da -da -da. So yeah, I don't know if I said, She's booked in for the control techniques, the MOT equivalent or whatever test you have to have um, on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. So I've got to fix, obviously there's bunny hopping down the road before then and uh, maybe do things like 
put the windscreen wiper back on. Does it need one? I don't know if this is too low for MOT. I don't know what the rules are in this country for MOTs and control drawings. Uh, so there's no back seats in there, as you've seen earlier in this video, I think. Um, I don't know if that's a rule either, so it might fail spectacularly, but we'll soon see. Let's get those batteries. Fuck, I left the battery over there. Got those. Thunder and lightning and the wind is picking right up, so we've got to be quick. Ah, bollocks. Yeah, so that went well. Thwarted yet again. Thunder and lightning, that one. Um, those droplets are pretty sizable. Um, but I'm hoping it's a bit windy now, so I'm hoping the breeze passes quickly. Breeze, the storm. But it'd be coming. Yeah, it's a common. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait in here. I've got my 10 mil. I undid the two terminals off the battery. Piece of piss. If you ever need to change a battery on a Nigo 107 or Citroen C1, piece of piss. What you will need is a 10 mil spanner socket, whatever. Um, and I think the other one is a 13 or 14 to remove the battery from the the battery tray. That's not what I have on me. Oh. There's the thunder. Um, I don't have that one on me. I only had a, a, a 10 that I actually got out of Terry. So I'll have to run back. Oh, it's hailstones. Hailstones in May. I mean, you can hear it, but it feels like the main drops are gone. I would put my windscreen wipers on, but I, I, don't, I don't have any windscreen wipers. Oh, I'm going to run inside while I've got a break and I'll grab the right tools. Fuck me, those... They are big... Jesus, they're big old... Um... Can you hear it? It's hailstones. Fucking okay, gee, this... this Feels like I'm being shot at. Don't dent my car! I'm not as worried about this one, but I'm more worried about fucking hell. But I'm more worried about... Roger. Look out there. Still going. Worse. Although I counted, you know, the old school technique. See the lightning, count, and it's moving away. Seven kilometers away, judging by my expert counting, and it's starting to ease up slightly. I think I'm gonna make a run for it. I've been in here far too long now. I'm gonna make a run for it, try and get in the house, and then I'll come back out when, uh, But I'm not gonna get fucking hailed on. Right. Fuck's sakes, let's go. Fuck. Ease up, will you? Oh man, I'm gonna get fucking soaked. Fuck me. It's still raining, but it's not raining like it was. In, here in the distance. Thunder over there, right? Fun. I got my different sizes. I'll see if I can get this finally fitted or it's gonna rain my head again. Let's give it a go. 13, job done. I need an extension, obviously. Right, so that one is out. It's a 12 mil, actually. It's a 12 mil, and it probably will be rusted like five like mine. Um, so just take it easy. You don't need to pull it right out. You just need to loosen it. So you can get it out, and then you can bosh it straight back in. Bosh it. 
Oh. Right, that's back in. I haven't tightened that one yet, but I'm just going to check. Obviously, make sure it all works nicely and doesn't give me the stuttery shit. Um, otherwise, I'm going to clean up these earths, which is what people say to do. That one behind there is the hidden one there, but that looks fine actually. So let me just check. Moment of truth. The lights on. Indicator was on. Ready? Not bad, not bad! All right, so that works. Everything's working. Um, I kind of need to drive it to test it. Let me... Let me tighten um, that up. Oh, that's how you check anything, isn't it? Job done. Should we take it for a test? I've got no windscreen wiper, but... I mean, I could just pop it on, I suppose. All right, let's give that a go. All right, people, we are in. Um, I don't have a windscreen wiper still because I don't know where the bolt, the nut is, so I can't actually see anything very much. So I'm not going to go very far, just around the block. I just want to make sure that these lights don't come on. Oh, maybe my headlights might be useful in this weather. Noise, cabin noise now. I've stripped the back seats out though. In second gear, we can take this corner in second nicely. Turn. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. You can't see anything. Think about how I feel. Oh. job on uh, on taking those spaces off I, alignment seems all right let's have it around this way try and tight corner and see what it's like on the on the corners what I should really try is the full lock so you remember last time I was I wasn't sure exactly what the full lock would be um, my hair off, slick back. So I'm gonna try a full lock in a second. Let's just do it round to this car park. All right, full lock coming up. It's actually fine. I'm lit, I'm doing circles now in a, the tiniest of spaces, and it's uh, no issue at all. Obviously, it, it adjusted the um, the alignment when uh, when the anti-roll bar wasn't on there because it adjusts the height. You know, it's less. Um, it was catching more on the the anti-roll bar was hitting the drive shaft, and so now the anti-roll bar is not hitting the drive shaft. All of these things are tighter. Oh yes, this is a. I'm, I'm looking forward to taking this out. Go. Well, it seems. I've got a bit of, uh, got a bit of smoke coming from under the bonnet. Oops. So you can see it coming out of here just about. I reckon it's coolant because I just topped that up. It smells like coolant. I reckon it's coming out of the overflow, so I don't think it's too bad. I think that's all right. I'm going with it anyway. Seems, seems all good. All right. Stop smoking. Still smoking. Still smoking quite a lot. 
Well, I'd say steaming. It's not real smoke, is it? Is it? Coolant. Let's go with coolant. I'm going to say coolant on that. Um, yeah, pulling into into the parking space, it did um, it did rub a little bit going in reverse on kind of full lock. But I did I did kind of think it would anyway. Um, but in, in, in forward, it didn't. So whatever. It's not enough that going around the track would have an impact. So it's not too bad anyway. I reckon it looks fucking good. So I want to go and uh, now, because it's still, you can tell it's still pissing down the rain. I'm just doing out in the rain. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and um, print off the uh, front little strips. Although I do like it like that, I'm tempted not to put them on, like the you know the go faster stripes, because I really like it like that. I, what I do have coming is a toe eye, an orange toe strap that will go there. So. That'll be useful. Um, con yeah, control technique's booked in there, f there for Wednesday. Um, hoping that it will be all right. It's still fucking steaming. Like bellow billowing. Can't even quite see it on here, but I mean, look at that. That's coming out like a mofo. Let me check temps. Check temps. Oh, it stinks in here though. I wonder what that is. Let's open the bonnet again. It smells very much cool and tea. I might just be runoff, you know. I've, I topped it right up to the top. So, uh, it's, I don't think it's leaking anywhere. But the fan's not come on, so it can't be too hot. There's that. Nah, I reckon I'm gonna go with, she just needs a little bit of a run. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I reckon she's mint. So the last thing we've got to do now is either get this, um, I need to get another one of them done uh, for the other side. And I need to uh, get the MOT done Wednesday and then I need to get the go faster straps on or not and put the uh, toe strap on when that arrives. Might even be today. I'll go and check the postmark. Well, that's curious. I like trainers. Um, the toe strap isn't out of the way, just in case you wondered if it was there. It's not, but before I leave you, riddle me this, all right? I like trainers, but I prefer Nikes. There are certain Adidas ones I like, but I'm definitely not a Yeezy fan, and I'm definitely not a Chinese Yeezy fan, and I'm not a size 38 but this has just appeared at my house. So I was like, I don't know what 350 Sport is, but whatever, size 38, clearly Chinese. I haven't ordered them. Clearly fake as you like, but I've not ordered them. Why would I order fake, fake Yeezys in a size that doesn't fit me? I'm honestly perplexed about this situation. I'm going to have to go and investigate in my house and see if anyone's ordered stuff in my name. Anyway, thanks for watching. That little unit is pretty much sorted now. I just need to get it through its control technique, see if I have to put the seats back in for that, maybe. And uh, yeah, finishing touches. So finishing touches this week, and hopefully we can. I'm going to look for the next track session once we've got it all um, legal from that side, because obviously can't take it out otherwise. Um, then we're going to book in a session and go take it for a bit of a smash so we'll we'll take you out for that one as well and uh see you on the next one peace out have a good day.